Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met the president of the Mo Moscow State Institute of International Relations, Dr. Anatoly Vaislevich Turkinov. During the meeting, they reviewed the close friendship between Bahrain and Russia, the continuous development ties, witnessing at various levels, and means of enhancing joint cooperation between the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Moscow State Institute of International Relations in various academic training and research fields. In the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, Bahrain Sovereign Wealth Fund, Mum Talakat, signed a memorandum of understanding with the Russian Direct Investment Fund, Russia's Sovereign Wealth Fund, and Binofarm Group, a subsidiary of Sistema PGSFC, a Russian-listed investment company, for the possibility of establishing a new factory for the production, manufacture, and distribution of the anti-coronavirus Sputnik vaccine and the Arab Gulf, Middle East, and North Africa regions. The MOU was signed during the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, which took place this week in Russia. Mumtalakat CEO Khaled Aramehi stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will be able, through its partnership with the Russian Direct Investment Fund and the Binofarm Group, to continue its efforts and enhance its leadership position in combating this pandemic, while working to strengthen the healthcare sector in the region by establishing this factory. For his part, the CEO of the Russian Direct Investment Fund, Krell Dimitriev underscored the long history of cooperation with Mumtalakat, which has resulted in the launch of a successful joint investment program and a fruitful partnership between the two institutions. The Kingdom of Bahrain had authorized the emergency use of Sputnik V vaccine in the Kingdom during February 2021 to become the fourth vaccine authorized in Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also visited the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, where he was received by the director of the museum, Mikhail Petrovsky. The minister toured the museum and viewed the various artifacts and items. He concluded his visit by wishing its administration well. The Tender and Auction Board has virtually signed two memoranda of understanding with the Ministry of Transport and Communication and Tatweer Petroleum Company to cooperate in the development of tender and auction procedures and service requirements provided to the two new entities. On this occasion, the chairman of the Tender and Auction Board, Sheikh Naif bin Khalid Al Khalifa, said that one of the most important expected outputs of this joint work is the updating of a dynamic guide that simplifies the tender and auction procedures and defines the organizational periods for the procedures in a sustainable institutional manner. He stressed the importance of this cooperation which aims to strengthen the system of joint government work and crystallize the government's directions for work integration. Sheikh Naib affirmed the long-standing commitment of the board to develop mechanisms for supervising government tender and auction practices and to improve the level and performance of the optimal bidding methods. The National Committee for the Evaluation of Academic Qualifications announced the introduction of a conditional equivalency system, which will allow obtaining the equivalency statement quickly without having to wait for the qualification to arrive through the cultural attaches. It will also dispense with the delivery of the original certificates and documents through personal attendance and only uploading them via the website. The committee indicated that it will, during the next stage, coordinate with the competent government agencies to put this system into effect and to adopt the conditional statement formula in its procedures in case it is required. The national football team beat Cambodia 8-0 in the qualifiers match for the 2022 FIFA World Cup and the 2023 Asian Cup. With this result, Bahrain's national team topped Group C with 12 points ahead of Iraq and Iran, the most prominent contenders for the group's ticket. The national team's historical soccer uh, scorer, Ismail Abdel Latif, concluded the goals by scoring the seventh and eighth goal. The leaders of the each Asian group qualifies for the final round of the World Cup qualifiers, along with the four best second place teams in the eight groups. And these teams also get the qualification cards for the 2023 Asian Cup finals.
The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response. The task force highlighted the important role played by the citizens and residents in supporting national efforts aimed at combating COVID-19 and including following all the precautionary measures. They added that the commitment of all to the mitigation measures over the last few days has had a positive effect on flattening the curve of infection. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Walid Khalif al mana highlighted the decision made last week to raise the capacity of the number of daily vaccination doses to 31,000 across 31 health centers across the kingdom. He said this had significantly reduced the waiting time for vaccination to between one to five days. Speaking on community awareness, the Director of Operations of the Public Security Presidency, Colonel Hamad al Khayyat, emphasized the importance of following all the health and medical measures as a national and social responsibility in support of national efforts to combat COVID-19. Colonel al Khayyat confirmed that the Ministry of Interior had taken legal measures against the violators of quarantine and precautionary isolation by referring them to the public prosecution for not complying with the requirements stipulated in the relevant laws. Colonel al Khayyat concluded by underlining that the anti-cybercrime department monitored a number of rumors and took legal measures against their promoters, calling on citizens and residents to avoid spreading rumors and to not circulate misinformation that would negatively affect society. He stressed the need to obtain information from official sources. Then the infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf al qahtani stressed that the achieving of the goal to reduce case numbers of the measures announced last week depends largely on the extent to which everyone adheres to the procedures and the initiative to take their vaccinations. For her part, the consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Jamila As-Salman, highlighted that the delay in reporting the symptoms caused the deterioration of the health of some existing cases. She therefore called on everyone, especially the elderly, to report symptoms quickly so that they can be assessed at a treatment center to determine their health condition. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 980,436 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 808,551 had taken the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 26,500 with 2,276 recoveries, 1,932 registered new cases and 19 deaths. 839 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,092 are contacts of active cases and one are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.